taxpayer service as we could with the funds we have. We've cut our enforcement activities. Uh, it was raised some question of should I be publicizing that, but you know, it, you have to understand that uh, we're not just taking it out of taxpayer service. We actually have uh, serious problems in uh, enforcement, and we had no choice. We had to, in fact, run this filing season. We had to implement the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. We had to implement the back end of the Affordable Care Act. So that money wasn't willy-nilly just easily moved. We knew that it was going to not help taxpayer service, but if the t and if the filing season had gone badly, this hearing would have been, why would you do that? Why didn't you take money from elsewhere and make sure the filing season worked? So we had no choice. The filing season worked. It went more smoothly than anybody, including me, would have expected. And it's because we put the resources into it that were necessary, required. It was not a choice we made. Of if, and if we had to do over again, we would do the same thing. For the taxpayers, they see, okay, customer service is bad. It was, it was horrible, abysmal, I think you called it this year. But yet they see employees of the IRS getting... Uh, uh, financial rewards. How do you defend that? Uh, I defend that they get their performance awards and the people who get them get them because they did great performance uh, as we go forward. Uh, and it's a little like the issue, you know, do we shut the place down? Do we not give people pay raises? We could not pay people as much and you put the money into customer service and ultimately uh, we'd have a, an inefficient, demoralized workforce. Congressman, uh, the commissioner says that Congress cut the uh yeah, $1.2 billion from their budget, so that's one of the reasons why they can't provide services. He also says, though, that the bonuses were for extraordinary or uh, good work. Were the bonuses justified? I don't think so. I don't think you give out $60 million in bonuses when they're under duress like this. I think there's also a straw man argument that the commissioner is using, and that is that the only way to, to do a good job on the, uh, on the rollout side is to somehow cut enforcement. And we were able today to show, look, uh, the GAO has studied this issue. The Inspector General for Treasury has studied this issue. If you go to a private debt collector, you, the IRS will get $100 million. So um, on the one hand, he's arguing that money is fungible. And on the other hand, he's arguing that money is not fungible. Is the he, IRS doesn't get it both is ways. Is he hurting the American people? I, I think, look... If, if, if you're a normal taxpayer and you are pressing up your nose against the glass trying to figure out how to deal with a very complicated tax code, you need the Internal Revenue Service there, and they weren't there. Does he care? Does he want to be there for them? Well, I mean... It I, I think that the choices that they made were bad choices. But how can you make it? I mean, look, if you're paying $60 million in bonuses, you know people are going to sit on the phone for half an hour. And usually people who are sitting on the phone for half an hour because they have questions is because they really have good questions, but not because they have an extra half hour and want to listen to some stupid music on hold. Oh, that's a fair point. And the other thing is, there's, there's, the, I guess the maddening part, I think, for most people, Greta, is this, the, the false claim that there is not enough money. There is plenty of money. And Congress today, not only in the past have the appropriators demonstrated this, but the oversight subcommittee demonstrated this time and time I, and I time th again. I think the thing that's particularly painful is that these are the people who actually are trying to pay their taxes. Yeah, that's Trying right. to be great Americans and do the right thing, and they are being stifled by the IRS and by really rough. 99% of Americans pay voluntarily. We've got to defend that. Congressman, thank you, sir. Thanks, Greta.